What did we just see tonight? <laughs> we finally won a game! We finally won a game! We finally won a game! Like... Oh. <laughs> oh, Arsenal, Arsenal. Oh, my Arsenal. I mean... This is what I mean when I... Supporting Arsenal is is tough, but for Arsenal to put fans like me, me, through this, me, Neomis, through this, for what we saw out on the pitch tonight, I mean, what can I say? Martinelli, Aubameyang, and boy Pepe, Pepe has arrived. Again, what a goal, what a goal. Arsenal three, West Ham one. That is what I like to see. That is the performance that we should be putting up every single game. Win, lose or draw, that is the type of energy. After we scored the first goal, the energy that we had, the, the quickness of our passing, the, the determination to get more goals. I mean, we could potentially have scored five goals in this game. Fantastic. That's what I want to see. But I want to use this time in this video to go through how this game really went and kind of my thoughts because that might be how I feel right now, but at the beginning of this game, Oh, sweet Jesus, help me. I mean, those were the words that was coming out through my mouth with, about this game. I mean, we started this game where you could just tell both teams nervous, both teams not looking to attack. So many times I saw opportunities where Ozil would have the ball or Chaka would have the ball, and, and it's just a simple matter of just putting through the runner uh, there to uh, Martinelli, for instance, to try to get a shot off. Nothing. It was like they were all afraid to go out there and attack. Now, you just have to hope, pray and hope, that this is the game. This is the game where it is the start of where miracles can happen. This is the game, I'm telling you, this is the game. For us to get this win here against West Ham, this is absolutely fantastic. If you haven't seen the game, find it somewhere. I hope you recorded it or somewhere or on, on your box. Find it, go watch it if you haven't, because this was at least in the second half was a brilliant game. So I took a few notes, as I, how I normally do, on my trusty phone. That's right, on my trusty phone. So before the game even gets started, Bellerin injured. Immediately, I know fans like myself, like all of you watching this video today, you probably sure, fuck. That's it. Bellerin's injured, that means we're gonna get Maitland-Niles at right back, or, or Chambers. But Chambers was starting in defense along with Socrates, who I thought played pretty well, for the most part. So Bellerin gets injured before a ball is even kicked. Uh, and Maitland-Niles comes in. And you know me, I'm not a fan of Maitland-Niles at right back. And to be really honest, I still am very suspect on him playing in midfield as well. Not sure about him. The jury is still out on Maitland-Niles, for me to be really honest. I'm not sure whether we should stick or twist with Maitland-Niles, but we'll see. So that's how the game, before the even game starts, that's what happens. Then, about 20 minutes in the game, 25, maybe half an hour, Tierney gets injured. And we're thinking, damn, we don't have a left back. Then I remembered Kalazanac. So I don't think Kalazanac was supposed to play in this game, but he comes on, he plays. Uh, I think we got the Europa League game later on this week, if I'm not mistaken. But 
Kalazinac was being rested in this game, but he then has to come on and basically play an hour of, of football. Uh, and I hope, I hope this injury to Tierney isn't that much of a big deal. I hope he's just out for maybe a game or two. Hopefully Kalazinac could come in and just hold the fort and, you know, help out a little bit. You know, I think Kalazinac and uh, Tierney are our only left backs that we have. So let's really see what happens on that front. Uh, and then nothing else. Nothing else from Arsenal throughout the whole of the first half of this game. Just pandering, just, I mean, just, it, it was, we had possession, but we weren't doing anything with it. It was the typical Arsenal possession. You know, we pass it around the midfield or we'll pass it back. No one really wants to commit to doing anything, probably because they don't want to be blamed either by the coaching staff or by the fans. And it was like that for the whole time. And then Arsenal, you know, we conceded a corner. Um, they crossed the ball in. Uh, we did manage to deal with the first uh, pass to get it away from from the West Ham uh, attackers. But unfortunately, we didn't manage to get to the second ball. Uh, ball then comes in the way of Ogbonna. He comes in with a diving header, deflects off Maitland Niles. They get their goal. Okay, fine. They get their goal. Arsenal go through at half time, one nil down. And again, you know, we're like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? We're gonna get ten. We're gonna get ten games where we have not won a game. Like ten. Like it's it's just not good enough. That's what I was thinking. I can tell you, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking to everybody that is gonna see me at work. I'm gonna be like. Oh my God, I have to put up with the, those lot making fun jokes about Arsenal and me not having a pot to piss in and say, you know what, don't talk about my team. Like, this is what we did. You know what? And now, now, in the second half, the Arsenal that we all thought that we have, that we know, stood up and addressed everyone out there. And the person who stood up and addressed is Gabriel Martinelli. The Brazilian, number 35, an 18 year old from Brazil, comes up with the first goal. Great attacking play, really came out of nothing. But good showing on Kalazanac, who was running down there on the left, you know, cut back with the cross to Martinelli, and he just takes it across goal and scores the first goal. And I mean, this was just the start of beauty. Three goals, people, three. Three goals in nine minutes. That, that is what I like to see. That is what I expect from my Arsenal. Martinelli gets the first, and then Pepe with the second scores a brilliant, brilliant goal. Uh, hold on, Pepe. Yes, Pepe with the second. Uh, and then this goal that he scored is reminiscent of. Um, Oh, oh my God, who's, who's the Bayern Munich uh, winger? It's, it's going to come to me. Like, oh, Iron Robin. Iron Robin, it's just typical Iron Robin or like Riyad Mahrez, you know, comes down the right, does, does a little jimmy, cuts in on the left, literally takes about two steps, curls it in, bang, 2-1. Two, two, Arsenal up 2-1, we're in the driver's seat, perfect, perfect time. And in the third goal later on, uh, Pepe kind of chips it to Aubameyang uh, and he just comes and, and volleys it uh, into the goal. And, uh, and it's exactly what we wanted from this game. Three great goals. It's the first time we've scored three goals this season. Yeah, and got the win. So I am... Um, no, sorry, this is the second time that we have. The first time I think was against Villa 3-2. But this is one where we've actually kept up a goal difference of two goals or more uh, and scoring three goals. Like it's, it's been such a long time. I can't even remember when last time that we got a win. I believe they said it's been 61 days on Sky Sports since the last time we got a win. I mean, that's shocking. It's bad. It's bad. It's two months, people. Two months later on, this is where we are right now. Now. This is what I want to see. 
However, the breakdown of this game that Freddie Lundberg is going to do, he needs to take all the good points about this game. We start the same team that finished this game, or at least from the time that we scored the goals, that team needs to start. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, that team needs to start. Sorry, Lacazette, but that's how it's going to be. Aubameyang's got to be up top, at the very least, until he fucks off to Real Madrid. And I'll get to that in another video. Trust me on that. But we have seen a situation here tonight. Arsenal have got their first win in two months. We can use this opportunity to now kick on towards getting more wins. We can use this opportunity to now to show other prospective managers, whether that being Freddie Lundberg or Marcelino or uh, Nico Kovac that I did a video on yesterday. So uh, do check that out or whoever. We now have a great platform for us to work on. Let's start with that. Let's start going on with positive energy. I am positive right now. Like the last review that I did against Brighton probably was one of the most miserable I have been at the end of a game. Normally I don't even like to do videos like that when, when I'm feeling like that shitty. But I felt that, you know what, just for consistency issues, let me come and just post me and myself in my natural environment. But tonight, great. I am fantastic. Full of energy, full of vibrancy. And I want to continue having this feeling. Yes, we won't win every game. But can we at the very least play well? But guys, let me know what you think in regards to this game against our West Ham. What are your thoughts? What did you think of the formation with Freddie Lundberg? I think we finally found a system that works. Yes, I would have loved to see Bella and Antini really get more of a shout. But overall, I think this is this is what's it's going to work for Arsenal. What does this mean for Lacazette and Aubameyang long term? I don't know. I really don't know. But we found a system that works. My opinion, let's stick with it. Leave your comments below. Really looking to get your guys' uh, thoughts on that. Please like, subscribe to the channel, and again, continue to leave your comments. Let's get a discussion going on a brilliant game that Arsenal have. First win in two months. First win. This is what I like to see. Leave your comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.